what men and women need to know about the menstrual cycle. What? All right, this is the video we're going to be reacting to today with Dr. Mindy Pels on the Diary of a CEO podcast. So the reason why I chose this video is because the menstrual cycle is actually very important for a man to understand, all right? When you're running game or when you have this process of how you're how, basically your intentions on dating, right? You have to understand that a woman makes decisions based on her emotions. And what is guiding a woman into her emotions is her hormones, right? So a menstrual cycle, a woman's menstrual cycle has a high effect on the decision she's going to make depending on where she's at in that cycle. So if you have a girlfriend, you'll also understand, hey, guess what? She's going to she's gonna have symptoms of PMSing, right? And she's going to shit test me when she's going through her period, right? So, you know, you have to understand that when you have a girlfriend or even when you're messing around with girls and you're playing a game, the menstrual cycle can help you by understanding it. And, you and you know, we'll go over it. Let's see what this conversation is about. But first, let's go over the comment section. Um, she's right. Not only most men are unaware of the menstrual cycle, 90% of women I know personally have no idea about their own cycle. Which is why, yo, this is a great way to manipulate them. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, it is not sexist to acknowledge this difference between men and women. If women understood their cycles more, we'd be more in power in our femininity. Ew, okay. Whatever. We don't want girls like that, but sure. <laughs> Changed my life. It is wonderful. God job. Uh, good job on taking notes, and it's inspiring to see a man appreciate being informed on this. Like, put it this way. If there was an F boy, right? A city boy, straight up. City boy! And he's just playing around with a girl, like he's making his intentions like kind of unknown. And the girl's like in the, but I don't know, like I want to be his girlfriend, but I don't know really where I stand in his life, right? As soon as she starts to go through her cycle, right, she's gonna have that ovulation phase. And in the ovulation phase, bro, she's just willing to make very, very impulsive decisions. Put it that way, right? So city boys, city boys, city boys, take advantage of those situations. They use them towards, you know, they use them towards their advantage. It is what it is. But at the end of the day, the woman makes the decision, right? So it's all good. Because I'm in a relationship and I want to understand. I guess this goes both ways. I want my girlfriend to understand how hormones are influencing my behavior. Yeah. And I, and I want to know how hormones are influencing her behavior. Yeah. What advice have you got for me? Well, the first is, do you know her cycle? Moving on. We're going to talk about <laughs> sugar again. Oh, no, you just no did too good. <laughs> so sugar, it's really bad, isn't it? Who's to blame? No, seriously. Tell no, me about your childhood. <laughs> no, get to know her cycle. I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you I gold should know, right shouldn't now. I? Let me give you gold. Okay. Yeah, draw so some RP. day one of her cycle, day one to day 10, she's building estrogen. First couple of days of her cycle, just let her be. Like she, you know, that she's transitioning out of the back half of her cycle. She might be having some heavier bleeding. You know, she's moving into that extroverted place. So the first two days, give her some space. Now, well, there you go. That this is this is a common mistake most guys do in relationships or even when they're dating girls, is they're just giving her way too much attention. And she's probably not even reciprocating. Because she doesn't care about you. Give her some space. And what that means is let her miss you. Three, estrogen starting to, to build. So you're going to notice she's more verbal. She's going to be more present. She might feel more outgoing. She's going to feel like she wants to connect with you. That's going to go all the way through ovulation. You see, boom. So remember, first, let her, let her be. Maybe dismiss a little bit. And then during this, when she wants the attention... Now it's in your control. Now the ball is in your court. What do you do with it, right? Push her away a little bit, right? Because when you push away, it's going to hurt her feelings a little bit. So what is she going to do? Boom, she's going to want to come towards you more. And you're, you're kind of playing around with those emotions, right? But you know what your intentions are. If, you're, if you have good intentions and you just kind of want to excite her, right? This is what helps her arousal, right? Is push her away when she wants the attention. Push her, push her a little bit away and then pull her forward, right? Push, pull, push, pull. Good way to flirt like in the middle of ovulation, which is about day 12, day 13, where all of a sudden estrogen's at its peak. If you have any conflict you want to resolve with her, do it between like day two and day 12 of her cycle. She's going to be so ready to handle any conflict with you. Between, let me write that down. <laughs> 
day to, day two and day twelve. D, day two, like literally, That's when I, I my battles. I had a I had a dad come to me and tell me that he was struggling to understand his teenage daughter, and I said, "Well, do you know her cycle?" And he's like, "No, I don't." I said, "Well, you would never ever bring a conflict to her on day eighteen or nineteen of her cycle. Bring it to her on day ten, and now she's going to talk to you." I'm going to say something which is really embarrassing here. I know nothing about menstrual cycles. At no point in my life did anybody teach yeah. me about menstrual cycles. The only insight I have in my life to what a menstrual cycle is, is overhearing my sister when I was younger talking about it. Yeah. And when I say overhearing, I mean maybe a sentence. And then maybe my girlfriend once in a while, she'll say, oh, I'm coming into my cycle or whatever. She'll say, I'm on my period. That's for most men. That's in fact the extent of the ed education we have about the female reproductive um menstrual menstrual cycles bro the few days before the cycle is like just it can be hell if you're very very close to her if you spend a lot of time around each other it can be hell because she's easily irritated and irritable right and as a guy you don't want to be around that because it's just constant negativity right so talk to me like i'm an idiot about the menstrual cycle yeah okay. how long is it Oh, I love this. <laughs> um, and do you know that most women don't know? Oh, really? So, I mean, most women are I ignorant to their own cycles. So it's 28 days, anywhere from 28 days to 32. Every woman has a different length. Okay. And what day d does the period come on? Day one. So okay. day one is the first day she bleeds. Okay. And then how long? That lasts for what? Seven days? Uh, it, everyone's different. Anywhere from three to seven days. Okay. So day... You said day between day two and 12 is when to yeah. pick my battles? Yes. Yeah. So day two, you're going to start to see her be emerge a little more gregarious. She okay. may be a little more outgoing. So, I mean, as she get closer to day 12, you want to go party with her? You want to take her out, make her feel good? Like, that's the time to wine and dine her. Okay, cool. We'll put Ooh, all the dates nice. there yes. and all the fights. And nice. then after day 12, what am I doing? Then after day 12, okay, so day 12 is right when she's ovulating. So... You're going to have to choose your battle there. But ovulation occurs for most women between day 10 and day 15. There's a small little five-day window. But they also get hornier, right? So, you know, like I said, cold and hot. Cold and hot, right? Direct and dismissive. Because, you know, that, that, that would be the time to essentially, you know, start to plant seeds. Oh, there. That's if it, this is the, when I, once I figured this out, I was like, why don't, why don't men know this? Um, that's when she's going to be, her libido is going to be the highest. Boom. Okay. So we're having sex. Yes. Yep. So if you want to have sex with sex. her, I'm just writing this down. Yes. So have sex with her yes. around that time. Sorry. Sorry. You, you, time. you don't plant seeds. I mean, you're planting seeds throughout, throughout day, two to 12 or whatever. Right. But during the ovulation, that's when you capitalize on the seeds you've planted. Right. That's when it's like, all right, cool. You could be a little more affectionate and she's going to be a lot more reciprocating towards you because her libido is high. Right. Boom. Manipulation. W. She's willing. She, yeah. She's going to yeah. be more motivated because she has testosterone. She's going to feel more like it. OK. Then after she finishes ovulating after day 15. Yeah. So then there's going to be a crash of hormones. You might see a change in her personality. She yeah, might boom. feel a little low. Go, so go stay in a hotel. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Well, you could ask. Just stay away. You know, like okay. if she's having a bummer day, like or okay. a low day, ask her. Do you know what day of your cycle are you on? Be really nice. Be really nice. Really nice. And then here's the gold. Here's gold. This is so good. You're gonna have to report back to me how this works. Okay. Uh, when around day 17 or 18, progesterone's coming in. This is where you got to give her foot rubs. You got to be extra special and cater her like like she's the queen that she deserves to be. Okay. So all my compliments. That's where I. Yes. Pull out the notepad. Yes. But what you need Compliment. to know is she's probably going to be like, if you're like, oh, you look so beautiful today, she might at that time be like, no, I feel horrible. I'm bloated. I am i don't feel beautiful. But you And I should disagree. I should say, no, you, no, you, you're, no, you don't. You look yeah. amazing. Okay, cool. Yeah, good. Yeah, they go, that's true. That part is true, right? When she's, when she's, when she's uh, basically putting herself down, you want to be the, you want to be the rock that picks her back up, right? But the whole foot rubs and all that, uh, that's kind of weird. Right? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna leave that on ya. I'm gonna leave that on ya. Do that till she bleeds, and you can take amazing care of her in the the week before her period, and you will get kudos like you, you can't even imagine. And then start it all over again. And then start it all over again. Got you. Yeah, I mean, just once you understand our patterns. And then it also helps you understand that we're going to be more outgoing in the front half of our cycle. We're going to be more introverted in the back half. What about men? You guys, every 15 minutes. Bro, you, every day, you're bro. Pretty, you're pretty black and white.
Really? Yeah, you're pretty straightforward. Yo, she's base, bro. Look at she's wearing red. She's base as hell. We are straightforward. Red. So red. if she was asking you the same question about me, would you say anything to her about my hormone cycles at all? You? No, no, you don't care. What, it it really depends on the issue at hand. So you see, you see how different men and women are just designed and built, bro. We're built to just constantly push our babies out in, into women, bro. We are quite literally baby making machines, bro. And a woman. It's like an incubator. Like she just like an, holding an egg, like a microwave. Boom. Baby comes out in nine months. It can only hold one kid. We're meant to, yo, brr, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like a caveman. <laughs> that was super cringe. But yeah, like that's, that's how different we are, right? That's why loyalty also lies very differently coming from our genetics, from our biology. If it's a, a, a mismatch of libido, then the best time to have sex with a woman is during ovulation okay which because is she has the most amount of testosterone day 10 to 15 of yeah cycle. yeah it would be well, really that's that's when you make her nut consistently right throughout her life she literally becomes yours chemically bro like like th that that's the most dangerous thing that you could really learn about this is that if you're a city boy city boy city boy Right, and you want to just run through women like this, you are being completely irresponsible, let's be honest. Right, but at the end of the day, this is just basically genetic manipulation or like biological manipulation or menstrual manipulation. That's actually a good word, menstrual cycle manipulation. <laughs> so, you know, use it towards your advantage. This is a good skill set to understand, right, as a man. So, uh, let's look through the comments one last time to see what we can find. Uh, I'm both shocked to see how little he knows and glad to see how humble he is learning about the menstrual cycle. Well done. See, women like it when you understand their body, right? Women do like that. But you don't You don't have to talk to them about it. Just say it. Let's see, period. Uh, one to 10 day, outgoing, energetic, more myself, better cognitive uh, abilities. Cool. So she's pr pretty pleasant to be around here, right? Uh, day 11 to 17, ovulation, horny, body trying to make babies, skin glowing, most beautiful, boom, you know, give her, shower her with compliments right here, boom, give her a little more affection on these days, right? And, uh, and really, you don't want to ask a girl when her period is, she'll just tell you, and then you got to kind of like figure out the days yourself, bro, right? Um, 18 to 23, mood getting lower, getting more introverted, prone to depression, need to stay away from overstimulation, boom, so... You know, give her some time, just give her some time to be on herself and just kind of push her away a little bit, like, right? But if she's, if she's down on herself, if she's constantly like talking to you because she trusts you, right? And she's just putting herself down, like bring her up a little bit. It's okay. Bring her up a little bit. Uh, day 24 to 30, extra care needed, low self-esteem, sensitive, desire to spend uh, time around people and be comforted around people. Let her be with her friends. Let her, let, let, let her be with her friends. If you're the guy that's going to be there, okay, cool. Uh, you know, you, you want to give her a foot rub? She's been good throughout the month. All right, cool. You go for it. That, that, that's on you. That's on you as a guy, right? Day one out of 10, boom. This is where you're planting seeds. Day one out of 10, you're, you're planting seeds, right? Cold and hot approach, boom. Direct, dismissive, right? Let her really feel a little bit confused. And then boom, capitalize on day 11 to 17. I feel so normal now, literally every month the last couple of years. I've, I've been frantically researching my menstrual hormones because they've gotten more intense as I get older. And I've at times felt so insane and just not like myself, physically and emotionally. Now I'm learning how my body works and, more, and how important it is to listen to it. Okay, so that's nice. That's nice. So this is actually a really good video, man. I actually genuinely love this video. Uh, the Diary of a CEO. Shout out to you, bro. Shout out to you. Don't bother subscribing or liking the video if I haven't brought you any value that you can apply to your life today. And then again, hit the notification bell so that you could join the live streams and be a part of self-improvement with us. Peace out, bro. Jesus.